Alright, so today we're doing more of everybody's favorite series, the Balanced Random Projectiles and Towers mod. Once again, shout out to Timothy for making it. This time we're gonna do it on a mod map. That's really only difference, and I guess I also really wanna beat it in one go. So, no continues or restarting, ideally. Other than that, the rules are the exact same as in the other series, as in the upgrade that I get. And the projectile that I get is going to be either 20% above or below the cost of the upgrade or tower. As you see right now, this um, Alchemist is shooting a texture shot, which isn't very good, it seems. I should know that there's one small update to this mod, in that occasionally, it'll tell you what projectile you get. So you see in the top side, there's a very small text that says 011 texture. However, it doesn't work every time, so if I just change it, well, it works now. 022 Dark Monkey on this bomb, which is pretty damn awful, considering that... It shoots really slow. So, uh, yeah, let's just say we're off to a very good start here. Putting all the eggs in one basket is never a good idea. And as you see, that is why it's not a good idea. How can I salvage this run? Well, let's drop a Geraldo. Pray for something good. And yes, we got something good. 022 Tax Shooter um, Druid Monkey. And yeah, now we're talking. So I do want to limit the amount of towers that I drop. Unlike the other projectile run where I just dropped a bunch of towers really nearly. And then I decided to start upgrading them. Just so that way, the screen is a little bit less cluttered, and so it's easier to see. Also, I don't believe in this mod that the camel problem has been fixed. If you didn't see last time, basically, the problem is that the tower and the projectile has to see camo. Otherwise, it won't be able to really damage camel balloons. So that means, well, we gotta get pretty lucky in our projectile. And uh, yeah, in case we do get really unlucky, I will just drop a camel trap. Just to help with the early game, but I guess late enough in the game... We'll have enough rerolls that we probably will end up getting something that has good camo. Now, as for what to do, I kind of like this tank shooter doing pretty good damage with the darts right now. So let me go ahead and drop something more expensive. And right after this ninja, we got a 1 2 0 monkey ace. Okay. That's probably not very good, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. Just one dart out of an ace. And uh, no, not even attacks beyond the ninja. Pretty rough. Let's change it. Needs to be something good. Ooh. Blade Maelstrom Shooting Triple Gun. Well, unfortunately, the projectile of that tower is still a blade shooter, so this is actually not very good. Regardless, it's too expensive to upgrade right now, so let's drop tower number four. I'll just choose a dartling gunner. Now we got a 101 ninja shooting a 202 dart. Now, this is actually our camo, so I might keep it. Like, just watch for the end of 23 here. See that hits camo because both projectile and the tower sees camo. So I kind of have to keep this. Now I think I'll get rid of the tack because it's only a base tack. Nope. Nope. Still 2-0 to dart. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I think we just hit the jackpot, boys. What is this? I think it's a spike catapult. Um, darling gun. Now, even though this is good, I still can't beat lead. So I gotta quickly get a tower that hopefully pops lead balloons. Otherwise, I'm dead. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, this would be so good if the uh, spikes landed somewhere that was not the middle. But unfortunately, I guess it doesn't work that way. Okay, how do we salvage this run, guys? Oh, oh, I see explosions. Okay, this might work. Let's hope, guys. It shoots fast enough. And I think it does. And good thing I placed it here, because then it could get, like, part of the entrance for it, round 30. And I guess that's the cool thing about this mod. Like, you never know where you're gonna get. Every game is gonna be different in their own way. Okay, now I think it's time to get something more than just this for camo. Because, yeah, camo white's on 37. It's gonna fall off. Let's roll the die on a bigger upgrade. Okay. What's this, guys? Well, it's a Necromancer that has a Razor Rotor's dart shot, which... No, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it accrues zombie count? Wait, does it do, does it do the Shimmer shot or no? If I see correctly, it does not- it does not shimmer, so I have to get rid of it. It's pretty worthless otherwise. Oh! This is camo. But what is the projectile? Um, it looks like it's a Hydra Rocket. If that's the case, this is our camo. Because I believe Hydra Rocket and Monkey Pride both see camo. On top of that, we have the ability too. So even better. Yeah, not only just that, we also solved our, um, round 40 problem. Just so good the Moab. And GG easy. Safe to say we hit the jackpot on this one, boys. Now, uh, I should probably get rid of this one now, considering I already have light popping. So let's go ahead and see if we can 
Guess I'm good. Just gonna keep randomizing until I see something that looks decent. Um, Shinobi Tactics? Nope. Sabo? We now have Relentless Glue at shooting what? It's a shame that this entire time I'm bringing this one hasn't been able, been able to show which projectile it is. But it seems to me it's not doing a whole lot of damage, if, like, any at all. So in that case, uh, let's reroll. Ooh, uh, 021 Super. Looks like it's shooting, uh, Shuriken Shots. Which I guess is okay for mob damage, so I will keep it for now. Now let's find something else that falls off. Well, I guess this guy, considering, uh, this has camo. Also, I wonder why everything, like, targets to close. Because I noticed that when I upgraded Super, uh, the turret didn't change to close. But I definitely don't remember ever putting anything on close. But yeah, let's uh, upgrade this ninja now. Only five towers on the field so far. So we're doing pretty well, I'd say, in terms of uh, keeping the field clean. This is a fighter plane shooting monkey ace, which doesn't even shoot at the fighter plane shots. I'm pretty sure what, like when you get a random projectile that has multiple projectiles in an upgrade, it defaults to just one of them. Because I remember, like, I think, Kira Flagship, it's only the darts. Not, like, the bombs from the other planes also. Uh-oh. I should be targeting with my, um... My darling gun here. Okay, only bad news is that, um... I don't know if I have enough camo for the ceramics here. Oh, oh god. I'm dead. No! Wait. I got lucky. Oh, okay, what is this? I think it's a... An AP dart. Dark Knight. Is that good? Well, it definitely looks like it's it's an airburst one, and the heat tipped. It seems like just some the projectile. No way to see it for sure. Also, is this thing doing good damage at all? It's a recursive cluster shot, but I don't see it doing a whole lot of damage. Let's watch closely. Actually, no, it's doing pretty good damage. I see the recursive shots occasionally. Granted, it's a very tiny one. Not in the top path, but so far I don't mind the uh, the loadout I have. This thing's actually doing pretty good work. Because like remember, if it's a fast shooting tower. That's what's best with the random projectiles, because you can just get, like, a weak dart from a super monkey it turned into a really strong projectile, like Airburst Darts, for example. Now, not only that, but with the dart shift ability, I could probably move it into a better spot. Like, how about here, for pretty much global range? Sounds good to me. Let's put it on first. Alright, let's see if we can beat round 63 here. I think we should have enough in the tank. Yes, indeed. Now, I think next up I want to upgrade is probably the Druid. It's had its run, but I think we have enough mob damage now, especially with the Airburst Dark Knight and the Shuriken um, Epic Range Super Monkey. So let's go ahead and upgrade Tower Number 6. Got a double shot shooting bombs out, which is good for group damage, but I think we have enough for now. Recruiter's Clutch should, should probably handle uh, the Camel Rounds. Actually, I think a big problem is going to be Round 78. 78 is a Camel Round, so that means uh, this thing won't work. This thing won't work. And this thing won't either. No idea what this one's shooting, but it actually seems to be doing an okay amount of damage at times, but I'm still gonna randomize it. Now we got a mob glue that doesn't even work, does it? Let's see. Um, it's doing some damage, but let's try again. Okay, artillery battery. I see napalm on it. Is it another mortar shot? Not gonna lie, that's pretty lucky if, if that's the case. Let's use the ability to see. Yeah, it... it Looks like mortars to me, guys. Well, I mean, I guess I'll take it, because artillery battery is pretty good. Um, I would have to assume it's like uh, an 042 type, though. Either way, if we don't want to buy a new tower, I think what would have to go is, uh, I guess, this guy. He's been really good for its cost, but I think we could probably survive without him. So, let's try for hopefully something camo. This is camo, but it's probably not strong enough to be uh, useful at all. Same with this guy. Downdraft. Actually, let's stop here. Um, I remember that downdraft is actually pretty good because the downdraft, um, like its downdraft ability ticks like seven times per second, and that actually also randomizes the projectile. So we could get a really fast shooting of something. Obviously, it's hard to see it right now, but once I figure out the projectile, I'll tell ya. Actually, to me, it seems like this this heli pilot is the exact same. It's blowing back balloons. It's uh shooting quad darts, so either it's bugged, or we got extremely lucky. I think it's way too much of a coincidence to be extremely lucky, so... Might be a bug, let's just try Shinook. Oh, I think it actually broke, in general. 
I'm actually taking a look at the mod log, and it looks like something went wrong. That's why you see when I upgraded it, it's the exact same. Let me see if it's the same with other towers. Nope, it it's fine with those towers. It might just be this tower for some reason that bugged out. So uh, in this case, I'm not entirely sure what exactly I want to do. I probably want to switch to up for round 78, just after I click a few crates from it. Because the thing is, I still need a good camel upgrade. I fear 70, 78 is going to be a problem. 76 is probably not going to be. I have the artillery battery and its ability to do heaps of damage. Like, just watch this round, guys. I'll use the ability just to make sure it doesn't create a rig of arm, and it is gone with. So let's collect one more from the crate, and then we can probably get rid of it now entirely and try again. Let's see. This is an ace that shoots out. I don't know. Oh, did I just spend 20k for a super glue? Uh, that was an accident, guys. I wasn't trying to intentionally spend that much money, but uh, I did. Well, let's hope we don't get soft log. I'm so lucky that it's not fully cross path. It's bugged. Okay, it's kind of weird how it didn't happen in my first run, but that was definitely a bug. I, I see another error log in my in my mod here. The randomizing worked up until that time where I needed it to work. So that's kind of unfortunate. I think I will, in this case, allow myself to um, re-roll. Plus, I still lose the money. Because selling this, I lose 25% of the cost of tower. So it's not like I'm getting a huge advantage anyways. I'm losing a lot of money doing this. But anyways, let's... Pray again. We don't get an issue here. We're gonna keep going till we get something camo. This is camo. The ability is the exact same, by the way. So if I use the spike storm, it will shoot up the same spikes from 240. Let's just wait for it to come in. Here we go. Oh no, it's bugged. Oh no, guys. I don't know why all of a sudden everything is just bugging out on us. But that's that's not cool. Luckily for us, this thing clutched up. I think I, I probably won't upgrade this guy at all for the rest of the game. Not that I would want to, since this next one is 64k, but this was this one's insane, guys. 100k pops. It actually just melted the round 78 camel wave. Okay, and now... Okay, this makes no sense, guys. Why is this white storm work now, but not before? Well, I guess I'm not going to upgrade it in that case then, right? Since spike storm is kind of useful for, like, the 80s and stuff. I think next up would definitely be either Energizer or the Pop and Awe. I would say Energizer because a weak recursive bomb isn't really that good. Let's pray that we get something good. Three, two, one. What's this? Ooh, Call to Arms. Now, obviously, we don't know what, what projectile we got, but that doesn't really matter. Considering this ability is pretty solid. In fact, so solid I'll use it right now. With plus 20%. We'll use Artillery Battery. We'll hook one of the BFBs in, just to make it a bit easier. And we're done 80 rounds, but I do want to try to get to round 100. That is always the goal with these uh, random tower runs. Now, it is at this point that I should probably uh, upgrade this Super Monkey, because if you look at its DPS, it's pretty weak. Only 2 per shot with the Shuriken. Um, just, let's just pray for something better, hopefully. Okay, first strike. We're getting a lot of abilities here. Oh, and this one looks, looks pretty interesting. Is it Ultra Juggernaut? I think it has to be, considering the cost is pretty similar. And plus, we have the first work ability, so we definitely have to keep it, right? I would say so, yeah. Let's uh, use Called Arms and uh, thing this round. The problem is that we don't have any support, really, in terms of, like, slowing down balloons. Right now, the Fortified Ceramics are running in full force, so... I don't think I can make it with only these six towers, guys, so... I'm gonna drop a seventh tower real soon, after this. Like, we have great towers, don't get me wrong, but... To round off great towers, you have to have great support as well. So, let's see. Highly, Don't know what this shooting. Let's try again. I actually might die one of these rounds. It's kind of spooky. Okay, P mentoring. I mean, it is jungle drums also. At first, strike like that. Reminder that the passive buffs do apply to other towers, so I feel like I should probably keep this, considering it is technically aiding in our damage. Okay, round 87 is going to be a tough one. Let's use First Strike now. That was probably not good timing by me. Now let's use Called Arms to finish this off. And also upgrade this one, because this seems pretty worthless. We got a Monkey City. Uh, I actually think this is not terrible, because it gives us extra money. But it's kind of too late in the game, right? Where the extra money really won't matter, versus actual damage. But maybe we'll keep it for like a round or two. For a couple extra buckaroos. Also, we're dead. 
I don't have abilities here. No! First strike. Holy crap, that was so close. Come on. Uh, do I have to first strike this? I will. God damn. Just for ceramics. All right. It's time. Let's get rid of it. Comanche. Uh, This Comanche shoots out what? It seems like just Comanche darts. Is it just me? Yeah, it appears we just have a normal Comanche. So uh, I don't know if that's something I should be allowed to keep or what. I just feel like with my current loadout though, there's no way I can beat 100 rounds. I think what I need is something like the Deadly Shot, Buckshot. That would be the dream to help us tank all the ceramics. So with that said, I really don't think it's fair to have a normal shooting Comanche. So yeah, we just have to uh, accept that it's a bug and uh, re-roll. Screw it. And we got a Monkey City again. Alright, try again. Oh, what's this? This could be good. If it shoots out the right projectile. Uh, can anybody see what that is? Let's not die here also. Crap, 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 crap. We're dead. It's over, it's over, it's over. Ah. 92 rounds though without dying. Was a good run. We'll try again though. I really want to know what this thing shoots. It looks like it's sub darts. So it's actually pretty weak. And I should probably just quickly rapidly drop another tower down. Before I lose the game. Super monkey again. Oh, we're definitely dead here, folks. I think the Super Monkey is shooting out attack shot, but I need Saram slowdown, so let's try again. Uh, Shattering Shells, does it actually defortify? I hope it does, if it doesn't, then there's no point. And we're dead again. We're dead, yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's watch carefully to see if the Shattering actually works. It doesn't! So that's a problem. I think I'm gonna allow myself at this point to start selling towers if they're actually useless, because, uh... I don't think I'll win otherwise. Also, I just accidentally re-rolled the p -Ment ring. I don't know if that's good or not, but let's use the ability. And let's see. Wait, it's not doing any damage. Well, this run just fell apart, guys. <laughs> On run 92, it seems. Well, folks, I guess we'll just keep re-rolling until we get something insanely good. Here's an ice eye monkey that shoots out what? It looks like sub darts again. What is with uh, the Super Monkeys and shooting sub darts? I've seen so many of them already. That it can't be a coincidence, can it? And we're dead again. I can't do this, guys. P-Lord. So this Super Brittle seems to be applying, um... Solver Glue. Unfortunately, it's in a really bad placement. And I, uh, I'm probably dead because of that, is that right? It also really feels like to me that the plus 5 damage is applying to it. Because otherwise, why would these UMGs be being dam being damned so fast? My only problem is that it's obviously in a really bad spot. And so I'm dead again. Now, I think at this point, the mod actually broke on me, guys. Um, as you see, the tech terror is just being a normal tech terror now. Well, I think with all those fails and the mod crashing on us, I think that's probably a good place to call it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that run. It looked really good until it did it. And of course, stay tuned to see more of this, because I'm definitely not leaving off with an L here. We'll be back with Revenge next time. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.